good morning class how are you all i am also fine okay can you tell me what is the date today yes it's 3 may 2023 class work and which subject is it it's your maths class subject is maths and topic before telling you the topic uh, i want you to tell me one thing how do you write tables okay can anyone come here and tell me how do we write tables can you write the table of 2 yes yes ritu you come okay so we write tables like this 2 1 2 2 2 2 2 Six, two, four, zar, eight, two, five, zar, ten. Okay, this is the way to write tables. Okay, class. Uh, so when we say two ones are two, what do we mean by this? So can you tell me what do we mean by this sign? What is the name of this sign? Do you know the name of this sign? This is addition. Very good. Add plus. so this is a sign of multiplication so today our topic is multiplication m u l t i p l i c a t i o n it's multiplication this is a sign of multiply multiplication okay so when we are saying two ones are two what do we mean by this Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two fives are ten. So what do we mean by this? Do you know? How do we got this answer? Two twos are four. How do we got this answer? Two threes are six. What do we mean by this? So class, I'm telling you this thing today. This is nothing but we are multiplying the two numbers. So when we are saying two ones are two, we mean it means one group of two that means one group of two things so how much is it two only okay now if i am saying two twos are four so that means two groups of two one two three four so we got the answer four if i am saying two threes are six so how much is it six yes how do we got the answer it means how many groups of it means three groups of two one two one two one two so how much is it one two three four five six so how much is it it's six basically the first number it represents the number of things number of Things and the second number it represent the number of groups. Fine. For example, uh, six students come here. Okay. Now make a pair of two two. Now make a pair of two two students. Now class tell me how many groups are. So class tell me how many groups do we have now? One, two, three. Yes, one, two, and three groups we are having. And how many total number of students? One, two, three, four, five, six. So two, three is our six. It means how many groups of two? Three groups of two. So it's nothing but multiplication. So again, I'm telling you the first number. It represents the number of things or number of people. and the second number it represents the number of groups fine for example fine you know that 5 6 are 30 you know the tables now if i have to draw it pictor pictorially then what will i do how many groups and how many number of things are there first number represents the number of things and second number number of groups so first make the number of groups how many groups are there 6 1 2 3 Four, five, and six. Yes, 
Six groups are there. And how many number of things? One, two, three, four, five. 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 Now let's count if the answer is right or not. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And the answer matches. That means we are right. 5 into 6, 5 multiplied by 6 is 30. It means, it means 6 groups of 5. Okay class, have you understood? So first number represents the number of things and second number it represents the number of groups we are having. I am going to write down some tables. Uh, so you have to find out the answers with the help of pictorial representation. Represent pictorially. Six twos are six twos are it's twelve. Yes, class. It means two groups of one, two, three, four, five, six. Two groups of six. So let's find out if the answer is right or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It matches. Yes. That means our answer is right. So I'm going to write down more tables. You have to find out the answer pictorially. Draw the pictures for, for the tables. Now complete it in your notebook and giving you 10 minutes to do the stars. I have given you 4 questions. Do it and then we will discuss it further. Okay class, have you done? Yes. So can you tell me the answers? Who will come and answer it? Very good, Rohan, you come. Yes, Sheetal, you come. Okay, in this way, you can call the students and they will represent it and they will draw it on the board and then you will get to know whether they have understood or not. Okay, class. Uh, so, we have talked about tables. Can we, can you tell me why do we need tables? We need tables because it is very difficult to multiply bigger numbers. For example, if we have to multiply 42 into 63, is it easy to make pictures for these numbers? Because these numbers are very good. It means 63 groups of 42. Is it easy? No, it is very difficult to make pictures for these big numbers. So, so that is why we need tables to do multiplication of bigger numbers. It means it is very important to learn tables. Yes, you must remember tables till 20. At the end of this, you can tell them how to do multiplication of uh, one digit number or two digit numbers on the board in abstract way. If you like the video, then subscribe to our channel Learning Tools. Thank you. I'm going to cover it. 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 I'm going to cover it.